Hey, it's Monday morning tea time with Mick, and I am praying that your week is off to a great start. Wherever you're headed, maybe you're headed to family, maybe you're flying somewhere, but regardless, this is a week that we as a country, and hopefully the Church of Jesus Christ, truly does give thank, thanks, not just for our country, but for the blessings that God has granted us. Do you know there are times, yes you do, that it's hard to be thankful, uh, especially if you're in that moment. What's that moment look like for you? That moment of challenge, that moment where you are just really underneath it, whether it is emotional or spiritual or physical or financial or relational, it doesn't matter. Sometimes it's really hard to be thankful, isn't it? Well, you know, the book of Philippians talks about not necessarily thankfulness, but something that is a, a cousin of thankfulness, and that is joy. Where, what, what is joy all about? Joy is different than happiness. Happiness is completely dependent upon the circumstances around me. Unfortunately, you and I can't control all of the circumstances around us, and therefore we are influenced by that. And so our happiness comes and our happiness goes. That's not what joy is. Joy is something down deep in my soul and in my person that I understand who I belong to and where I'm headed. It is understanding Jesus, that he died for you, that he loves you, that he's there for you, that he will continue to carry you step by step, that you have a hope of a future, and that you have the assurance of forgiveness that it is, it continues to extend day by day, and also the ability to give you the strength to walk upon him. You know, scripture says, if we wait upon the Lord, we will mount up as wings as eagles, and we will run and not grow weary, and we will walk and not be faint. There's complete joy knowing that he will be there in the midst of the challenge. Joy is not a choice that allows us to live in denial of our struggle, but in spite of it. And so I challenge you today to read the book of Philippians and understand um, a scripture that says whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is excellent, whatever is praiseworthy, etc. Think about such things. As a man thinketh, so he is, says the Proverbs. So I fix my eyes on Jesus, the author and the perfecter of my faith. I choose joy today, this week, regardless of how difficult it is, and then realizing as a result of that, that my perspective has changed, not my situation, but my perspective. And therefore I'm given what I need to be able to walk through moment by moment, day by day, and sometimes hour by hour, because he will stick closer than a brother and he's with us to the very end. So I pray you have a blessed day Thanksgiving, whatever that looks like for you, because he loves you. He always has, and he always will. He goes before you and behind you, and absolutely nothing can take you out of his hands. I pray you have a blessed week, and to this truth I say, all right, and amen.